Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve the problem range sum query immutable. We're given an integer array of nums and we want to be able to handle multiple queries that are pretty simple. We're just going to be given a left value and a right value which are going to represent the indexes of that array that we were originally given. So suppose it looked like this. These are the values and these are the indices. We're given, let's say, a left value of zero, so we would have our left pointer here, and a right value of twos. Then we would put the right pointer here. So given this query, we want to return the sum of the subarray. So pretty simple, just this range sum. We take these three values, add them together, and I think we get positive one. And that really is the entire problem. So the most simple way, given any two left and right indices, would be to just take the input array that we're given. By the way, we're designing a class, so this input array won't be a part of the query, but when we initialize the class, we'll just be given a single array like this. So that'll be just passed into like the constructor, but the query itself will be given to pointers left and right. And the simplest thing to do would just be to go iterate through all of those positions and sum them up. Now, in the worst case, a query is going to be roughly the size of the input array. So doing it like that will be O of N in the worst case. So the question is, can we do better? Well, if we were going to do better, probably the only thing we could do is do some like pre-computations on this array so that when we're given a query, we can do the query faster. Well, I guess one idea would be to take every single possible subarray and then compute the sum of that. So then we'll have them all pre-computed. And then anytime we get a query, we can return the answer in constant time. Well, how many subarrays are we going to have for this array? Well, it's going to be n squared possible subarrays. The good thing is we'd only have to run this once, probably inside of the constructor, but we can actually do even better than this. There's a little trick we can do where we don't have to compute the sum of every single subarray, but we'll still be able to return the query in constant time. And that is by just computing the prefix sums. A prefix is just any subarray that starts at the beginning of the array. So this is a prefix, the first two, the first three, the first four, etc., etc. So let's say that these are our prefix values. We can compute all of the prefixes in O of n time. It's pretty straightforward. This prefix is just going to be negative two. Then we add the zero. So the prefix of the first two is also negative two. The first three, we just add the three to the negative two positive one here, then add a negative five, that's gonna bring us to negative four, then add a two, gonna bring us to negative two, then add a negative one, which is gonna bring us to negative three. So these are all of the prefix sums. Now, how can we use these to resolve a query? So now, let's say given that same query, we want to find the sum of this subarray. How can we do it without having to iterate through every single position? Well, remember that this value tells us the sum, the prefix sum, which in this case corresponds exactly to that subarray. But what if we wanted to resolve a query that is not just a prefix? What if this was our left pointer and this was our right pointer? How do we get the sum of this subarray? Well, this value negative four tells us the sum of these four values, but we have an extra value over here. So we wanna subtract that value which we can just subtract that individual value, but that value is also stored here because this tells us the prefix of this. So now you might be getting a hint to what the final solution is. What about, what about an even more general case where, let's say where this is our left pointer and this is our right pointer, we want the sum of these four values. Well, this value will tell us the sum of all of them, and this value will tell us the sum of these two values, which is what we want to subtract. So that's pretty much the solution. Anytime we're given left and right pointers, we will take the right pointer and then find the value. That'll tell us the sum of this, and then we'll take that value and subtract from it the value not quite at the left pointer. Actually, I guess I was a bit misleading because this value will tell us the sum of these values. But what we actually want to subtract is one value over to the left. This value actually will tell us the sum of this. Sorry if the previous explanation was confusing. 
And notice since we're just reading the value from this index and subtracting the value from left minus one, that's a constant time operation. So this is about as efficient as we can get the query to be. And our constructor is going to be O of n time just to initialize all of these prefixes. There's one last edge case I want to briefly mention. What about when our right pointer is here and our left pointer is here? We want the sum of this array. Well, this value will tell us the prefix, which is pretty much the sum that we're looking for, but we're still going to try to find the value at left minus one, which is out of bounds. So basically, anytime our left pointer is here, we have to just make a quick if statement to check that left minus one is still in bounds. If it's not, then we just substitute the value zero here just to make the math work out. But if our left pointer is not at this index, then like suppose it's over here, then we're just going to take the value at left minus one and subtract that. And then we get the prefix sum or the range sum that we're looking for. So now let's code it up. So in our constructor where we're given the list of nums, the main thing I want to do is just initialize our prefix array, which is initially going to be empty. I'm going to use a variable just to maintain the total sum so far that we have seen. And then we're going to iterate through every single number in the input array. We're going to add that number to our current total sum. And then we're going to take that current total sum and append it to the prefixes. And that's how I'm going to initialize our prefix array now to actually return the range sum. This is pretty easy as well, which is just going to be to get first the right value, which is going to be at the prefix array at index r or rather right in this case is the value that's passed in as a parameter and i should probably title this the right sum i guess i'll do that for readability right sum and then the left sum is going to be at prefix array not at the left index but left minus one but that's only if our left value is greater than zero Otherwise, we're just going to initialize the left sum to be zero as like a default value. So this is like the ternary operator in Python. I prefer to write it this way just because it's more concise, but you can write out the entire if statement if you would like. Then all we want to do is take the right sum and then subtract from it the left sum and then we're good to go. So let's run this to make sure that it works. And as you can see, yes, it does. And it's pretty efficient. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe. If you're preparing for coding interviews, check out neatcode.io. It has a ton of free resources to help you prepare. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you pretty soon.